In problem 8-2, we're, we're considering the riskiness of a portfolio. Now, you know that you can diversify your risk when you own more than one stock because uh, that, that will help you if a stock, one stock goes up, maybe one will go down, etc. But what we want to do is consider the portfolio risk using the beta of a stock. And as you read in your books, beta measures the riskiness of the stock in comparison with the market. So I'm going to put beta, riskiness, in comparison with the market. And what that means is that the marketplace has been given a beta of one. And we'll compare everything else in comparison with that. So if a stock moves with the market, if it uh, correlates it pretty much exactly with the market, in other words, if the market goes up, then this stock goes up. If the market goes down, then the stock goes down, then that would be considered, that stock would have a beta of one. It would equal the marketplace. If beta is greater than one, then for a particular stock, then that, it means that that stock is riskier than the marketplace. And if the beta is less than one, then that particular stock is less risky. So we could say that if you own treasuries, treasury bonds, you know, U.S. savings bonds, those will have a beta of less than one because they're not as risky as the market. And then if you owe, owned some junk bonds, you have a chance of having a really high return. Uh, those junk bonds might have a beta of two. Maybe they're two times as risky as the market or something like that, whatever. Anyway, so we're going to use beta, uh, you can see in problem 8-2, to calculate uh, how risky the portfolio is with a couple different types of stock. And we have an investment that, we have $35,000 in a stock that has a beta of 0.8. So that indicates that this stock is less risky than uh, stand uh, at the average stocks in the marketplace how the market moves and we have forty thousand dollars in stock that is a little bit risky but we have a chance of getting a higher return with that riskier stock and so out of seventy five thousand dollars we have two different types of stocks and we want to see what the beta of this portfolio is and we will indicate that by putting uh, using B with a subscript of P. So the beta of the portfolio, I'll write it out, I guess. And we're just going to do that by taking the portion of this $35,000 investment from our whole investment. In other words, we'll take 35000 over 75000 So. Out of a total investment of 75, we have $35,000 in one particular stock, and we're going to multiply that times that stock's beta of 0.8, and we're going to add the portion of, of our total investment of the second stock times that stock's beta, and that's as easy as it gets and we can then calculate the por portfolio of the whole beta. And that will give us information about the riskiness of our portfolio.